Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lauren and in today's video I'm going to be doing a photo card collection video and a downsizing of my photo card collection. Now when I say downsizing, I don't mean in the sense of I'm going to be getting rid of my photo cards or selling them. I am moving and I cannot take my entire binder with me because it is very thick and I only want to take my alt collections with me. The only reason like this move is for an internship and my apartment I'm sharing with other people and I don't need I'm not going to be like keeping up with every single group because I need to save some money. So I'm only taking my alt collections with me. So I thought it would be nice to do a whole tour of what I have so far. And then at the end of the tour, um, take out my collections and downsize it into what I am keeping and bringing with me. Alrighty, so here is my binder. It's a pink one inch binder. I have the Hoshi and S Coops Teenage Standees on the front and the back is just plain, a little dirty, but plain. And the collections I keep in this binder are 17, 80s, NCT, Monster X, and then like miscellaneous, which is like a few BTS items, a few SF9 things, you know, a few 1S items. So. Let's get started. I collect S Coops for 17, and then I also sometimes collect Ming Kao or Ming Yu cards depending on the layout of the page. It's very important to me how my binder pages look. So I like having full rows for comebacks or full pages, depends on the inclusions. So for these, for like the first two, I have both S Cubes cards and I just filled the space with Ming Hao and Alrighty, and here is the side pocket. I do collect all his Japanese fan sign entry cards. And I am caught up with this collection. But I really don't know how to store these. So right now they just like live in my binder over here. Oh, maybe I will keep I like looking at the back of photo cards so I will keep the page like centered like this so you can see the photo cards and you can see the backs so if we start from here we have boys B love and letter repack um, oh gosh <sighs> going 17 AL1 teenage and director's cut this was the first card I ever pulled. Also, this is the first card I ever pulled. It's the Director's Cut Lenti of Scoops. He sits on my desk in a top loader. And then I, the next album I ever bought was You Make My Day. I pulled Mingyu and Dino from this album. And that was before I was into photo card trading and collecting, so this collection grew recently. Mingyu was an original pool here. <laughs> An ode, I collected all four scoops, photo cards, two Mingyu and two Ming Hao, one from each concept. And the circle cards in the middle. I do have a cheeky Hoshi card because I pulled him in the album and traded him away and Hoshi bias wrecked me so hard this era that he became like my bias wrecker officially uh, and my friend gifted me this card and I love it so much. I love the hope page of course everyone does. This is a fan main card. I just put it there to fill the space. It looks pretty legit, so I kept it. 
I really love my semicolon page. It's so pretty. Some fan sign cards from semicolon. Going 17. I love these cards. I collected my four biases. And unfortunately, my Your Choice collection is not finished by the time I'm filming this. I do have three cards on the way and I'm still looking for Mingyu's B-side photo card, unfortunately. Here is my Japanese collection. I just collect one photo card per comeback. So here's all the ones I have. Here are my Hoshi photo cards from Spider. The um, special cards are these two, I think. Yeah, these are my special cards. And then we have some concert stuff. So this is, you know, ideal cut. And then we have some Haru stuff. OTU. Carrot Land. Incomplete. And I decided to collect these Polaroid cards from their Japan tours. The hardest ones to get were definitely these two and the most expensive, but I love this collection so much. So I'm very happy with it. I feel like I need to clean up this page. It really doesn't make any sense. Like we have some seasons greetings and then like this card and this concert card and like these cards. We have some same cards and then uh, winter goods. I didn't know where else to put them, but they look pretty good here. And then we have the pre-order benefit from uh, Hangarde. Yes. I know they're not an age order. I need to flip, but oh well, it is what it is. And then we got some bookmarks. I love these. And then my mini cards from Semicolon. Also out of age order, I need to flip them. I love these oval cards. I pulled all of these, I think. We got mini cards. Oh, and that's from your choice. I really don't know where else to put the your choice items. Um, I actually just got one in the mail the other day. Let me find it. Ah, here it is. I'm still missing a lot of larger, like larger inclusions for your choice, unfortunately, but I'm not going to be taking them with me when I move. So the collection is just going to like have to halt, unfortunately, like I'm missing postcards. Yeah. And then I have some. Polaroids from Carrotland and OTU. And then here's my AT's collection. I bias Hong Joon and then I and I second bias San and Songhua. So my collection is Hong Joon cards fully. And then San or Songhua if I need them to make the page look pretty. I really like this first page because it's group card bias card, second bias card. Like, it looks so nice and so satisfying, especially here. But then they go and start not doing group cards anymore. So I had to improvise. And here we have Fever Part 1. This was the most col like intense collecting experience ever. Because I got some fan sign cards, and then here's pre-order cards. And then here's the pre-order cards for Fever Part 2. And here's all the cards. They're kind of, like, mixed up because I wanted the concepts to match across the board. So, like, I have, like, my music taste cards and, and um, the special, like, limited cards and the regular cards. And then I have the rest of the regular cards over here because they really didn't match up in concept. But yeah, 
Um, and then I have, I have cards coming to fill the space from the Sub K exclusive merch collection, but they still haven't come or shipped yet. So the Hong Joon cards will go here and hopefully I get a Polaroid that I can put there. And so that is almost the end. I have these like special cards, the light stick cards, DVD, concert, um, the perfume card, and then this family card. And then that's the end of the AT's collection. And then we have my NCT collection. So I bias a lot of people in NCT slash wavy. So I just usually keep what I pull unless I really want a specific member's photo card. But all of these, except for Johnny, these were original pools. I think these were original pools. I bought Johnny. Um, original pool, trade, 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 pool, pool, pool. So yeah, I think I trade it for Lucas. Yeah, I love the backs of NCT cards, they're so pretty. And I know we all hate circle cards, but this page looks pretty satisfying. And then I have some newer stuff. So this is all um, Resonance 2020. So it's kind of messy, but it is what it is, I guess. Oh, and then I have one lone win-win on this page. I never bought um, NCT Dream hot sauce and I highly regret it but I am moving and I need to save money so I didn't buy the album unfortunately and I really wanted to because I love the album here's my little tiny One Us collection um, I mainly just have this collection because I really loved their album um, Lived and Devil yeah Lived and Devil I loved them so I bought them and these were my like pools. I think I traded for Xi'an um, and I kept these guys. And then here are like the larger ones. I have Kanhi and Raven. Yeah. And here's my Monster X collection. Usually I would have bought one Monster X album, um, but I didn't buy Gambler because I'm moving, unfortunately. <laughs> Um, but Monstax was the first album I ever bought. I ever bought, and these were my first ever pools. These three cards, so I love them to death. And this is when I started trading. I traded this comeback for all Wanho photo cards. It was so fun. Um, and then here's um, my follow collection. I collected almost all of his cards. As you can see, I have two cards here. Here's the Kino card and both of his ID cards. And then Hyungwon for Fatal Love? No, Fantasia. Did I buy Fatal Love? I don't know. We'll figure that out in a second. Um, so Fantasia and then All About Love. And then the Kino. I bought the Kino for Follow. Here's some group cards I have. Here's Wanho's solo debut I bought from K-Town. So I have the K-Town cards and the album cards. Oh, here's Fatal Love. Kihan and Hyungwon are like tied for my second bias in Monster X. So that's why I collected those cards. And here's the last Monster X thing I bought was Wanho's second album. And I love these cards so much. And I even kept the message card in here because it makes a nice pretty row. Here's my tiny BTS collection. Um, I stopped buying their albums after this. Yeah. Map of the Soul 7 was the last album I bought. My mom is a BTS fan, so she bought B and she bought Butter. And she pulled group cards in both of those albums. So I feel bad for her because she really wanted a member card, but oh well. And here is the last page where I have some Young Koon items from the Bloom Bloom album and some Insong and one Hui Young card from Sensuous, which is my favorite SF9 album. Yeah, and then I have a little fan-made thing from the 
Stray Kids concert I went to and a little Stray Kids postcard from their concert DVD. So those are all my photo cards, um, except for the ones coming in the mail. But now I will show you my larger inclusions collection. I do have a separate binder for that. So here's the binder for my larger inclusions, which are basically just like postcards and things that don't fit in my nine pocket sleeves. On the front, I have this sticker sheet from Residence Part 2. Some sticker sheets. Oh, this is a print of a piece of art I made. We have some more resonance stickers, my giant Johnny postcard from Punch, the final round, even more NCT stickers, and this amazing Super M postcard. Look how cute. So here on the first page, we have my S Cubes AL1 postcard, his love and letter bookmark, which I bought secondhand, which I regret because it's a little faded and stained. And Ming Cow's Love and Letter Repackage Polaroid. I could never find S Coops, so I just stuck with Ming Cow. My teenage photo uh, postcards. And then we have some an ode Kino cards. I wanted to get more Kino cards from other eras to like go right here. But I could never find any, so this page looks like this right now. And then we have my An Ode mini posters. I just kept them folded and put them in some free pocket sleeves, and I like it. Um, and then this is an incomplete postcard. And on the other side, we have a We Make You postcard. Right here is the Season's Greetings Chinese inclusions. So... <laughs> I really love this because I'm Year of the Ox. So I wanted to get his little envelope with his like doodles and his name and his little postcard. I love it so much. And then I have a Weaver semicolon Pre-order Benefit up here. Hong Jun's um is that Utopia? Port of Call. Port of Call postcard. I have a Coon Kick It postcard. Hey Chan's um, Wee Boom scratch card, and then Monster X Polaroids and Standees, as well as some Kino stuff, and my Follow Find You, um, like bookmarks things. I just kept the Wanho Kino inclusions out of the box, so everything else is in the box. And then we have Fantasia. Um, Fatal Love, Solo Wanho, more Solo Wanho, and more Solo Wanho, and some more on the back. I have his little cards here, like the ornaments, this uh, Minhak card. And the 17 like frame that that incomplete postcard came in. Those are all the large inclusions that are actually um, in the binder. I do have large inclusions that don't fit in any of my binder pages. So I will show those to you. I have all of his lenties, but I really just don't know where to put them. They really don't fit in binder pages. And then I have three of Ming Cows. Because <laughs> I went crazy this era, apparently. And then I have the like mini poster things. One for each of my bias. I have a bunch of NCT postcards that just don't fit in any of my sleeves, stupid, stupidly. And then I have some like 
I have this sticker, which is official. Um, and then this is from a concert and this I got in the mail from fur trade or whatever. So all of that stuff I really wish could fit in this binder, but I just don't have any pockets large enough for it, unfortunately. Now let's move on to downsizing my collection. I wanna use this binder as the new home for all of my photo cards I am not taking with me. So, oops, see the, they just go flying out everywhere. Um, okay, I am definitely taking most of my album cards with me, of course, most, all my album cards. Going 17, your choice, Japan, Hoshi, and then the concert cards, probably for sure. Um, I'm debating these cards. I'm not taking these with me, nor am I taking any of the larger inclusions, which makes me so sad because I worked so hard on collecting these, but I just, it's, I got a downsize. I think I'll keep these with me though. We'll see. Obviously I'm taking all of AT's with me. And the one thing that breaks my heart is that everything else is going. It's not coming with NCT, Monster X, like I wanna take NCT with me so bad. It's just, I can't. I need the room in the binder for whenever my ults grow. And I just, I can't carry that much weight with me in the binder, you know? So we're gonna put her to the side <laughs> and then we're gonna start organizing into here. I don't even know if everything will fit in this binder. It's ha like half an inch. So I'm keeping 17 first still. And I'm gonna take this weavers and put it over here, like so. So then I can put in, actually, I think I will turn the page and then put in NCT and Monster X, including Wonho, of course. Okay, and then at the very end, I will put in the rest of the photo cards. All right, now we gotta go back to the front to do the rest of 17. So I do have, I'll, I'll put the group card um, on the front here, like so. And then I'll do the larger inclusions in like timeline order, album release order. So after an ode, we'll go hangar and then semicolon. Boom. And then after the 2021 cards, I will put in my Your Choice items. Actually, let's just keep this on this here. And we'll put this here because I do have the smaller Your Choice cards here. And boom. All right, let's see how this looks with a final flip through. Oh, the binder is bulging. It's heavy. It doesn't close flat. So let's do a final flip through.
so that is everything that is my entire photo card collection done and my downsizing I am just about almost ready to move now and it feels so surreal that I'm gonna have to leave such like so many things that I love behind but you know it's only like six months hopefully and I will be back to see my babies in no time and I'm excited to continue growing my 17 and 80s collections if I get the opportunity which I will still will definitely be buying and collecting albums and photo cards just in a more restrained sense. I'm thinking of maybe still downsizing 17 a little bit but I don't think I will just because I'm so attached to all of these cards like I love them so much so I don't think I'll be getting ready, rid of any of them. I'm thinking of actually selling off, like I have, I have these uh, group cards, but I don't know if anyone would want them. Um, I might leave them behind and I might leave like these four behind because I'm not as emotionally attached to these photo cards as I am with literally every other photo card in this binder. Um, so I might end up doing that. You know what? I'm going to stop saying I might. I will. I will. I will put these in their own binder. Like so. And let's put them in here. Um... I was thinking of downsizing my oneness page. So let's take this page, sharing it with Wen Wen, who is all alone. He could use the company. lived cards there how cute and we will flip back to the front and we will rehome these guys so Just like that. Oh, that might have been off the page. I feel bad. And we will throw in a filler. Like that. And there is our collection. I'm very happy with this, like, with this downsizing. Um, so I hope you enjoyed the video. If you had to remove one collection from your active collecting status, from your active collecting world, from your binder, what group would you have to, what group would you willingly remove? That's kind of a sad question to ask, but just remember, I love all of these groups equally. Nah, I love 18 and 17 more, but I love all of these groups and all of the members, and this is nothing personal. It's just, I can't carry a like five pound binder onto an airplane, so I needed to downsize. Thank you so, so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day. Take care. 
Goodbye.